world changes soon can get a doobie on a plane but there's uzis in our schools every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too what you expect from the kids who went to hooters after school we're all triggered and defensive we're all racist and we're sexist we all grew up watching south park how are we offended now being fat is beautiful name a thing that you can't do jumping jacks run a mile live past 42 man it used to be cool to welcome to the red pill sports and entertainment show i am your host albert apache and as usual, brought to you by open source, self defense, fitness, and grappling. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into the show. All right, well, I was on hiatus. It came to my attention that essentially Outkick has been become a subsidiary of Fox. This is very disturbing news to me. Um, we're going to talk about it a bit. And we're going to get into why I think this is a huge mistake by Clay Travis, the president uh, and apparently, I guess, the CEO or business manager, whatever you want to call it, of OutKick. So before we start to break it down, let's go ahead and listen a little bit to Clay and what he has to say about it. Oh, by the way, please like, subscribe. And if you disagree or agree, please comment down below, share the video. Remember, the goal is to try to get to that thousand subscribers so that we can do some fun stuff live. All right, guys, that's what I got. Let's listen to Clay. After nearly 10 years of OutKick being an independent business that I owned, over the last year or so we have had a lot of different media companies uh, asking about inquiring out, acquiring OutKick. Uh, I have never taken any sort of venture capital money or anything of that nature and I spent a lot of time thinking about what the future of OutKick should look like how big we can become and how influential we can be. And uh, we are right now very profitable and a very successful business but I want to give us an opportunity to have jet fuel and I wrote about this and I encourage you to go read it if you really care a great deal about the ownership structure of the company if you don't care you can just let this go uh, your eyes may glaze over and you might not care at all about this but so uh, let me explain nothing's going to change um okay I think I've heard this one before Nothing in terms of what OutKick produces is going to change. Um, yeah, I've definitely heard this one. Something about a left-of-center guy who was a stoner, uh, wasn't about, you know, a little bit different because he wasn't a strictly sports guy, but he did a whole lot of other things. Uh, built one of the most uh, popular podcasts and um, YouTube channels. Uh, in history. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've heard this one but let me keep listening. I'm still the president of OutKick. I'm still running the site. We are just going to have a lot more people working at OutKick and we're going to be producing a lot more of the content that you love. That so here's my deal with Clay Travis and his essential sellout to Fox. He mentions that you know the channel needed or the company needed jet fuel and essentially what he's referring to is cash uh, to money to influence and then he goes on to say that you know nothing's going to change and they're going to continue to make the content that we the fans love well I have no doubt that initially that will be the case I have no doubt that you know in the first three to six months you will not see a change um, but you will eventually see a change and let me explain maybe to Clay even here is that nobody puts down that kind of cash well, well let's just put it into perspective if you well let's say you made a uh, million dollars a year and you decided that you were going to put a quarter of a million, 250000 uh, into a particular business venture. 
um, you go ahead and you give that money or you invest that money into a particular business venture, do you do it under the impression that you are going to have zero, absolutely no say in the direction of that, of said company? Absolutely not. Nobody does that. Absolutely nobody does that. So while Fox may not initially push to have influence, they will start to push to have influence. And they will make sure that OutKick, now being a Fox subsidiary, will not be heavily critical of Fox products. This will become a problem. I, I can tell you right now, it will become a problem. And I don't know, this is just, let's continue to listen to Clay and see what other things Clay has to say and what he's convinced himself of. I hope you guys watched my testimony in front of the Senate uh, uh, Judiciary Subcommittee focused on big tech and antitrust law. One of the biggest challenges to a business like OutKick is the power of all these big tech companies. Facebook can turn off traffic to OutKick. Twitter can turn off traffic to OutKick. Social media sites in general can decide that stories we write or share displease them and they can use that as a weapon to knock our overall ability to make money from a site traffic perspective. So you already know that Clay Travis is convincing himself and selling himself on the sale of OutKick because let's just talk about three examples which show that uh, it doesn't matter that if you are a big corporate media outlet you're still establishment outlet even uh, that you're still going to be shut down if in fact uh, the powers that be at Facebook, Google, Amazon, uh, Twitter do not like what you have to say. First glaring example. They silenced a sitting U.S. president. They blocked a story from being shared from the Washington Post about Hunter Biden and his laptop. They have targeted and shut down stories that uh, have come out about AOC, particularly from the Jimmy Dore show. Uh, these are just a handful. Th these are just a few of these instances where stories have been shut down. And even though these stories have come from legitimate sources, establishment, corporate, mainstream media sources. So Clay is buying into a narrative that he knows, or he's trying to sell a narrative, which he knows is just not the case. The answer to the shutdown of the monopolistic social media giants is not that you join a big conglomerate of media giants. The answer is, is that you diversify. You diversify. So it, what Clay should be doing is, and, and I stress this for anybody else who is a small channel, what you should be doing is also creating uh, you know, content that's going on to Odyssey or Library, as it's also known. Okay, you should be diversifying how you are reaching your audience via platform. You can go and have other hosting services, building your own hosting services, building your own servers. Okay, that's the answer. It is not to become part. Of the system but let's continue to listen to what else clay has sold himself on um, in terms of my life not a lot gonna change I'm super rich now in case you wonder 
Uh, I, I, I never expected that I would be as rich uh, as I am now. Well, props to Clay, uh, being the guy that he is. He basically cut to the root of it and is stating the obvious. Uh, this is essentially about money and particularly his financial future as well as, you know, his family's financial future. So um, I guess props to Clay that at least he's being honest about that uh, and being upfront about it and very direct. <laughs> Let's continue listening. And if you loved us, you should be excited because we're going to have more and better content featuring more and better content producers in the days, the weeks, and the months ahead. And the, the simple truth of the matter is this. No member of my family, no son of mine, no uh, daughter of mine in the event uh, that, uh, that somehow we end up having more kids, uh, no grandchild uh, is ever going to have to worry about money. Well, I appreciate Clay's honesty here about the money. Um, you know, he talks also about making more content. And he also talked about having even more people working for them. And you go back to the jet fuel comment. And herein lies the biggest issue. Yes, Fox will start to put pressure on Clay to steer OutKick in a way that they see is favorable for them. Not only that, but here is the benefit to growing organically and slowly versus taking the big money from Fox. Control. Not just control of the content, but control of your growth. See, when you're growing slow, you have much better opportunities to vet the people that work for you and that you work with. And the people that work for you, you can also vet the people who work for them. See, if we are to believe, let's say we take the heads of Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Amazon at their word, some of these decisions to ban people, flag people, block content, steer content away, does not come from the top management. It comes from people that work for them. And for those of us who have had experience working in the government system, whether it be federal or municipal or state, you know that the bottleneck for information, the bottleneck for services reaching the end customer is not at the beginning of the product, like the interaction point, and it's not necessarily at the top point. It's all those people in the middle. And when you cannot control who you're hiring, when you hire, whether or not you have to hire, when you throw jet fuel onto the fire and you accelerate your growth at that rate and it's not organically produced, that means your organization was not ready to grow that fast. So, I would say it's probably going to be in about two years. And I think Clay just put out a video how OutKick is still the antidote to wokeness. Yeah, maybe. Maybe for the next two years. But within two years, OutKick, I'm afraid will most likely be a shell of itself because Clay has convinced himself that he needed to take the money now. All right, man, that's all I got. It's time for me to roll out. Thank you very much for listening. Remember, be practical, be purposeful, get fit with a purpose, guys. Every dude who touched a boob or a booty getting me too. What you expect from the kids who went to Hooters after school? We're all triggered and defensive. We're all racist and we're sexist. We all grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? Now being fat is beautiful. Name a thing that you can't do. Jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. Man, it used to be cool to just flip a bird to the system. And now it's trendy to be triggered and pretend you're a victim. It's my race. It's my weight. It's because I'm a Christian. I hate the internet and anyone who has an opinion. And everybody angry if you 
say white, K fine. Pass me the brush and I'll paint my face to the shades right. Let's talk about abortion. Sorry, tell me how this works. Bacteria is life on Mars, but a heartbeat isn't life on Earth. Weird. Not so stupid.